Ooh. Right, that's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. I'll be with you in a second. Um, so, I did a live stream last night. It was quite funny, quite good, and what have you. And um, what I wanted to say. Is this working? Oh, it's working now. What I wanted to uh, just do this quick video about, and the title kind of gives it away, which is a shame. Um, stay. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, oh, we're far too fucking zoomed out there. There we go. Right, that's better. So what I wanted to talk about was, um, someone left a comment, which is quite a good comment actually. They said, uh, how come you're spending all this money on GoPros and what have you? Um, in one hand you say that you can't stand these motor vlogs and then in another hand you're out buying what is it and trying to set up microphones and this that and the other to do them. Right, so that's a very good question. Um, Kawasaki. Um, that's a very good question, and the question, the answer is, um, I'm actually going to answer it in more depth. Actually, in the first, <laughs> uh, what is it? But I'm actually using it uh, not like they do. I'm not building a channel on riding around talking about what your girlfriend didn't do because you asked her nicely or when you were riding around with some other bum chums with cameras on their helmets um, what you had for dinner last night and the fact that the price of Brussels sprouts is extortionate it's not about that um, I am going to... It, it actually saves me some time just doing the, the, the on, on the road riding stuff so I go places, I need to go places to go and pick up parts, go and pick up people's stuff go and see some mates, go and do this, uh, the other part of my life that isn't this. And I like to go out riding as well, you know, there's no point doing all this shit if you don't go out and ride. Um, so to that end, what I can do is I can do some videos, um, some content, I hate saying that word, but it's, it's the word that it is. Um, I can do some content and kill two birds with one stone. Oh, fucking okay, come on, you wanker. Um, I'm nearly quitting this. This is all good. We're coming to the end of how how much of this shit I have to go through. I'm pretty much out of drugs. Um, but yeah, you know, so it it kills two birds with one stone. The other thing is it also gives me another opportunity as well. I'm going to do some videos on doing your test, your European Mod 1 and Mod 2. Um, but not the usual, uh, yeah, you get told that I'm talking about little pointers and such you know I'm not going to go through what you do in your test you can find that out anywhere you can find out from the DVLA I'm going to just tell you one or two little tricks I'm also going to show you one or two little things on the road to watch out for when you're a new rider and I don't know I'm not going to go through the top five list of some silly mistakes no 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 that's shite there's some junctions that I want to show you that and hopefully if I record enough of it going up and down that junction, someone is going to prove my point. Um, there's another, there's some junctions um, that aren't, that seem like they should be perfectly fine and they're not. And it's just to point out to you guys real life situations of you've got to pay attention there and this, that, and the other. Just watch out for this kind of stuff. The other thing, is, other things I want to talk about, about getting used to riding bigger bikes if you go from just say like a 125 up to a thousand or a 600 or something things to watch out for or the little things that help you out and I'm not talking I'd, I'd, you'll see in the videos but it's hard to explain it's not a top five list it's not it's it's actual real experience stuff example um, clutch clutch holding your clutch so when you go on a 125 um your clutch is just fucking it's like a fucking barn door it's all the way between there and there 
where when you get onto bigger bikes and stuff, especially hydraulic clutches, it's a lot shorter movement. And I do it automatically just like that. But this is how I hold um, my handlebar. Oh, I've got a, there is some handlebars. Aha, there is some handlebars. Fuck it, let's do that. Yeah, five old handlebars. With cable. Sweet! So, this isn't going to work how I want it to. No, it's not. But anyway, stay. So, just imagine for a minute that there's your handlebar and there's your clutch. What I do, and what a lot of people do, and what a lot of people don't just automatically tell you, is I hold it like this. And there's a reason why I hold it like this in this weird bear grip. One, it's awesome for wheelies, but <laughs> secondly, it, it's a stop. When you got your gloves on especially, let me get some fucking gloves on. To actually, totally visually demonstrate, So as you can see, and obviously I'd have a handlebar on, but um, a bar end on, but as you can see, that gives me little clutch movement, but stops it going too far. Thing is your clutch on and you can you can adjust it, but there's no need because as soon as you get on a new bike, you can have to readjust it or relearn and just learn it from the scratch. Your clutch movement is pretty much that. It's fuck all. It's not this. And when you've got a full handful, you just tend to you just tend to grab the whole thing, and that's fine for a one two five because your biting point is it's literally that much. There's there's loads of it. Where with um, bigger bikes, and all this, there generally isn't. Yeah, like I say, you could adjust it, but just learn how to do it properly. And a way to do that is to literally just do this. Your fingers, these inner fingers here, these two fingers, act like a stop with a glove on, and that just gives you that pretty much that exact movement. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now you might have a 125 and you might already do that. But I had a go on someone's 125 earlier last week and it was slipping, the, it was, you know, it's half, half disengaged, it was all over the shop. So it depends what bike you've got and it depends if it works or not. But if you do that, great, you know, you've started early. But there's little things like that, there would be a video where I could just show you looking down with the camera, show you it working and um, show you what it's like when I don't do that and use a full hand. Just little stuff like that, it's a five minute clip, you know, totally, five minute clip video about how to do it in the real world, how it's done, or a way you can do it to make your life easier. Stuff like that. Stuff that I'm constantly now riding around thinking of, oh god, they didn't, you know, that's just something that's not that obvious. Um, you know, just, yeah, just stuff like that. Uh, I want to show you um, the SV before it gets a tyre change. I want to show you um, stuff like uh, lorry ruts in roads and how that affects let go of the handlebars and watch it drift. Stuff like that. Stuff to be aware of. Do you know what I mean? Um, just, yeah, and there's some junctions I want to show you. There's some funny stuff I want to show you, like some of the junctions around here uh, that are fucking insane. Um... Just stuff like that, and then I can. The other thing as well is it, when I'm ranting about <laughs> whatever, you know, when I'm ranting, when I rant about the French, or when I rant about, um, I don't know, uh, the colour of oranges, or whatever I rant about in the future, I can do that video on the bike because some of them videos are actually quite long. Um, when I'm explaining concepts of. Um, you know, when we do stuff like counter steering, I'm going to need to have to show you on the board how that works, but then I'll have to show you in real life. Splice all that in together into one video and show you in action and the things that it can show you. You know, just stuff like that. So, you know, I also want to do um, some meetups in the future. Uh, I'm arranging some meetups with some people around the country. Um, you know, I'm also going to do a, a trek across Europe before they shut the borders on us. Um, <laughs> you know, stuff like that and I want to record some of that because it can be part of the channel but like I say, I'm not building my channel it will be a small section of it there will also be some funny stuff because there are some fucking clips you know, I do clips of kind of like outtakes or whatever 
where I show you funny stuff. I'll show, oh, I'll do a video, a joke video, you know, we did the uh, Jason from Engineer Explained. There's some fucking, you know, Poon Patrol, we'll be doing that. There's just some stuff that is just there for the comedy value because you can't take life too seriously. I've got to have some fun as well. Um, but yeah, it's not building a channel on riding around. It's not every single subject. There's guys talking about mechanical subjects and stuff, trying to explain it in a fucking shockingly horrible way without showing you, without a board, without anything. They're just talking about the road and it just fucks people's heads up. For example, there was a video that someone sent me to which was a uh, Garth and Todger video when he's talking about two-stroke turbos and you just, you just fucking, how can you possibly... It, 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 the thingy and is this and you know people laugh when I say blah 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 the reason why I say blah 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 is because I'm saying yes and this and this and this and this leads to and blah 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 it goes you get where I'm going with this but let's focus as in blah 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 is basically a tangent that we're not going to go down and I'm, me saying blah 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 is stopping me going down that tangent because I could literally just press record and talk for about 12 hours <laughs> you know what I mean about engines and how one relates to one thing and one thing relates to another and I could just go on forever and people always say or some people say Matt your videos go on fucking ages why don't you just get to the point you give it all this exactly it's a bit of passion and I love this stuff any road so that's hopefully answering that question it wasn't a you know the, the guy who asked the question it was a legitimate question how come you slag off all these motor vloggers or what have you and then go and start doing it yourself that's the reason why you know, there's some things I want to show you that require to be on a bike. It's part and parcel of it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it, it, there's 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 some bits in the SV. The SV. So I want to show you what happens with the pair system when I connect it and it backfires like a knobhead, and what it's like disconnecting it and making that only change and showing you that is what makes the difference. To do that, I need to be on the bike. Not that is that little. QB session GoPro can actually face backwards or face bits in the engine. I can show you how um, chain harmonics uh, work when you actually accelerate and stuff with that little GoPro. So it's not just the big one that's on the front of my face, it's the one that's going to go everywhere. I'm just trying it all out. So um, that's one of the reasons why. I'll end up getting another one in GoPro sessions because I want five or six other fuckers so we can see what happens. See how your tyre deforms when you put it under load on the sidewall. See what happens when you do this. See what happens when you do that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, see, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? So there's, I wanna, I'm want i trying to sort it out so we can stick um, for the GSX R1000 so we can stick a GoPro inside the fucking and light it properly so you can see the throttle bodies actually responding um, to what I do and how it responds differently under load opening the throttle on a flat and then there's a big fucking hill we can go up and just do exactly the same thing rolling 40 mile an hour get on the power under load up a hill and see how it changes you know it's stuff like this that I want to do I hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit